Welcome back to Prey. I think the first thing I want to start doing is I want to look around the station and see if I can find more of these security panels. There's five more remaining. And given that I have, I think, pretty much almost the entire station unlocked, I should be able to find all of them, or at least almost all of them. So let me go look for them. Aha! This is right before entering the cafeteria in the recreation center. Well, that one's pretty high up there. I'm just imagining how they would store the contraband there. I mean, did they go and get a ladder <laughs> when no one's looking? Is it not stored in all of them? I guess it's not in all of them. Yeah, now that I look, they're actually all over the place, but most of them are out of reach. At least out of normal reach. I can get to them pretty easily, but I guess those ones just don't have them. I guess if they if they can't be easily reached, then they're not used. I still feel the need to compulsively check each one though, because what if it is the one? But look, there's like four in this room alone. There's one up there and there and there and there's one there. Ah, I'll check them anyway. Aha! Found another one. Yeah, I found another one that's also roughly at this height where you can reach it, but it's kind of at the top of your reach from the ground. And it wasn't actually one of the safes. So you really do just have to try them. Optimizer for telethop telethopy. <laughs> telethopy optimizer. Neuromod and impact dampener. Alright, so that's two, four to go. Oh, Nightmare is hunting you. Okay, well this is a good time to try out the uh, thingy. You know, the thingy. Audio logs? Yeah. Repel. Oh, I didn't like the beautiful music. Aha! Here's another one. This is back in the lobby. In the Transtar exhibit. You know, I noticed this one has a light over it. Maybe the ones you can use have a light over them, and the ones that don't, you can't use? I don't remember if the others had a light over them. But definitely worth checking. I think I just found an area that I've never explored. So, sales division is that way. Um, it's the top floor on this side. There's this maintenance access. I just ran in here looking for another safe, and I don't think I've been here. It's above this, like, server room. I don't remember being here. I hear an enemy down there. I also killed a mimic up here. Why Russia? Why Russian volunteers? Well, the Russian penal system is quite unforgiving, and their alliance with the Transdai interest economically coincided. It was Catherine Yu's idea. Their mother and Alex saw the advantages. So, they were murdered because of political convenience and cost savings? The term murder I would dispute, but I do not wish to lie to you. These two factors made them good candidates for the research development here. It is far easier to persuade a man to volunteer for experimental trials when his other prospects include capital punishment or life in prison. I would dispute the term volunteer, Doctor. Indeed. Well, I didn't know this was here. Is anybody going to comment on the fact that I just jumped out of a window and was listening in on their conversation? I guess I didn't see. I don't... I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand what you don't understand. Alright, this seems to be it. 
I mean, there's new enemies down in the server room, but, uh... Well, let's take care of them. Done. Have I ever been inside of human resources? I just used a recycler charge on this door. It was blocked by a big thing. I might have come here so early that I never even... At the time, I don't think I knew that you could use recycler charges for this sort of thing. Back when I used explosives to get through heavy things. Yeah, this is the other door. I have not been in here. Okay. A quick peek through for enemies. Looks like we're safe. Don't hear anything. Anything hidden back here? No. Transtar Rewards Program. I think I've read that. Yes. Yeah, as a reward, you're eligible to receive neural mods. And by the way, if you get fired, we might remove them and you'll lose all your memory. The usual. Doesn't seem like there's much in here. Rule 47, it is not okay to eat other crew members' lunches. If you are hungry, let me know. Goat. Need a chat? I'm available. Heavy gear optimizer. What's that? Increases movement and aiming speed while firing the glue cannon or Q beam. Hmm. That sounds pretty nice, but I don't think I want to get rid of anything. Ah, what the heck, I'll get rid of this laser attack thing. Good news from Thomas Tucker to applicant SC312535. Hello, Sandro. It's my pleasure to inform you that your application has been accepted. We've shipped you a packet of documents. Please review and sign by the end of this week. Once the paperwork is done, I'll send travel instructions. We'd like to get you up here next month, if possible, and begin orientation. It's always challenging to reserve travel, but you'll be booked for an exhilarating ascent on one of our shuttles. Please accept my welcome. On behalf of the Transtar family, we look forward to bringing you aboard. Hunter Hale from Alex U. Tommy, I appreciate your concern and understand you don't want to be held accountable for discrepancies on the books. Hunter Hale's compensation package stands out because he negotiated it with me. Consider the matter settled. Even if we paid him six times what our other pilots make, our projections for this year would support it. Thief? Is it misspelled thief? From Lane Carpenter to Thomas Tucker. Originally from Josh Dalton. Josh Josh Dalton? This the black box project Josh Dalton? Enjoy your time at the top while it lasts, because it won't be long. Josh Dalton. Ah, and then I guess they forwarded it to Thomas Tucker. See what I have to deal with. This needs to stop Lane Carpenter. Don't know what that's about. It's been way too long since I read anything about Josh Dalton to remember anything about his storyline. All I know is kind of basically what it says in the quest. I think it says this. Uh, they were designer in the hardware labs, gone missing. He's involved in the Black Box project. Yeah, some sort of, I guess, top secret thing. That's all I remember, so I'm not sure what that information really means. Oh, looks like that's it for this place. Unless this one doesn't have a light, so... 
Yeah, I think it's the one with the lights. Aha! This one has a light. So if my idea is correct, which it seems very likely it is, this one should open. Yes, now I can not bother looking at the ones that don't have lights. That leaves, what, three? Oh, no, just two more. Wow. Interesting, I think I found another place I haven't explored. So if you remember in here... Psychotronics. Psychotronic staff only, so I know I went down here. Of that I'm absolutely sure. I think I remember I was like hiding here and I tried to shoot one of these through and it bounced off. I remember that was a very early encounter, so I've definitely gone down, down there, but I don't think I've been in here. Maybe I have and I just don't remember. There is nothing to pick up, so maybe I have been through here. I guess I just never repaired this. I mean, there really isn't a reason to repair it. Okay, I've probably been here. Oh, I think I found something new. So this is Mitsuko Takaji's office. Is there an enemy nearby? So I've been here. I think I grabbed the first um, audio log from like through these through these bars. The first audio Hello, log that I'm just gonna pause it. There's too many voices. <laughs> uh, the first audio log that kind of hinted me to the fact that it's. I strongly suspect that this Morgan is actually some sort of Typhon injected with Morgan's DNA or something like that. I think that came from here, but I never opened this. And actually, I mean, you can't. There's no control panel of any sort. So I'm thinking, perhaps, I shoot some darts through onto the computer. I see there's a utility. And maybe I can open it that way. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. Door controls, yes! Wait, the only control is to lock it? But it's already locked. Huh. Anything hidden up here? No. Engineering control systems. Yep, already read that. Oh, uh oh. The inventory thing's bugged out. It's displaying an inventory, always. Hello, Dr. You. Uh oh. There we go. It's a damn trash can. Didn't taste like chicken from Helen Barker Combs to Mitsuko. Mitsuko, I need to report on 37's condition in my transcribe ASAP. Either that psycho is the luckiest prisoner in orbit, or worse, we've got some problem in what we're feeding the Typhon. And that can't happen again. Morgan said something about wanting to question 37, but that's low priority. He was practically unresponsive before. If nothing pans out, I'm going to prep 37 for an a cephalectomy? A cephalectomy. I don't know who 37 is. Implant mirror neurons in Typhons? From myself, from Morgan. Um, well, originally from Mitsuko to Morgan. I'm going to bring it up again next R&D meeting. Will you support me? And then from Morgan. Sure, Alex will probably shoot it down, but say the idea gets off the ground. Still have two big questions to answer. What's the test environment? And whose neurons are we talking about putting them in? Volunteers are a no-go. I mean, come on. I'm definitely a Typhon, right? I found another thing that might be unexplored. This is somewhere deep in... I don't remember what this place is called. 
I don't know if I ever went into here. That's the thing we saw on the tape, the, uh... Satellite or probe or whatever that was. Microgravity detected. Yeah, did I ever go in here? Such an eerie thing. Looks almost like a drill. Obviously it's not. Oh, maybe this is the thing we saw on the tape. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in here. Oh, hey, what's this? I'm just flying around in the guts right now, and I don't think I've seen this note before. Subsection monitor. October 1st, November 23rd, March 5th. Good, 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 good. Until March 5th, electrical subsection 19, fault detected. Engineer, nothing listed. I don't know what to do with that information. I've just been thinking, what if they put one of the security panels in the guts? What if, it's, <laughs> what if it's buried deep in the guts? They wouldn't do that, right? Nah. Aha! Found another one. That's gonna leave one unfound. So this is in the cargo bay, kind of the main office. Wasn't sure how that would play out, but I like how it did. God, I want that food so Is bad. Is it over? Are there any more? Well, that's some fine shooting, if I do say so myself. I think I just found a location that I've never visited. So, I'm in life support. I don't know if you remember this place. It looks a little bit different. Remember the electrified floor here? I fixed this. I don't think I ever went to atmosphere control, because I just went in here and I explored around a bit, and I realized that there's tons of loot that I've never collected. And there's lots of things that just look like I haven't touched them at all. Uh, there was a locker room I went in there, and there's nothing really of significance. But yeah, I went around here a bit, and there's a bunch of stuff. Like, for example, this. I mean, I obviously never went in here. Atmosphere control room? Apparently I've got a key card for that. Storm motorcycle, book four, backstabbed in the face. Can read that if you want. Jean, it's Mariana. I can't get in. I tried the airlock at power plant, but it's got some kind of a lockdown on it. And there's something else. I saw something. When I was checking the last O2 station, an ovoid mass, roughly the size of a truck, maybe? Hard to tell because it was silhouetted. I mean, it could have just been debris, loose tubing, I, I don't know, but it scared the shit out of me. God, I sound crazy. I just gotta breathe. I'm gonna try another airlock, then I'll call back. What are you gonna do about it, huh? Decontamination. Atmosphere control is a class 100 clean room, pursuant to Transstar standard 
306 Fahrenheit. <laughs> Concentration of airborne particulates must be controlled to within specified limits. When particulates rise above acceptable levels, initiate decontamination procedure. All personnel inside atmosphere control should have proper suits to handle temporary loss of oxygen. Hmm. Well, I mean, I do have a suit. I'm going to save and just see what happens. Ah, fan 3 malfunction. Is that one of these? down enough. Ah, fan controls. Fan 3, jam. Oh, there's a thingy in it. I see. Can I shoot it loose? Uh, <laughs> I probably... If I jump down there, I think they're going to suck me into the blades. Ah. You know it'd be even safer. Didn't even touch it. Okay. That's not jammed anymore. What are you talking about? Definitely not jammed. Shit, it seems to be stuck. Oh, fuck. Uh oh. Uh oh, bad, bad, bad. Well, it's fine now. Cool. Can I get out of here without dying? Is the question. Um. Oh. Okay, the suction was not too bad. Start the decontamination. Actually, let's check this out first. Dang. Oh yeah, um, someone told me you can press the number keys to enter in the digits. Hmm, the normal number keys don't work. What about the... Oh, the numpad works. So though, I've got a shortcut on the numpad, so I don't want to use it. Just in case. Don't want to accidentally hit a shortcut. Or, shortcut's not the right term. Uh, keybind. Got a recording keybind on the numpad. Okay, and everyone's been telling me you can hack these. I kind of didn't know, and then someone told me, and then I forgot, and then someone told me again. I'm going to hack one just for the heck of it.
Nice robot. Wakey, wakey. Sounds like it's making music. Okay, well, oh, there we go. Oh, I was thinking it would turn into a robot that would actually be able to heal you. But it seems to still be corrupted, so I'm guessing it just fights for you. I think it is actually playing music. Listen. See you up there. Supply code. Huh. entrance if you couldn't hack it. Okay, let's go do decontamination for no particular reason. Flushing all the oxygen out, I guess it would just put out all the fire. I guess that'd be one advantage, right? Yeah, nothing can burn. Is it gonna start burning though once oxygen comes back in? Hey, wait a minute, there's an exit over there? Where's that go? Is that accessible from over here? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is where I came in. Looks like I can't leave till the oxygen comes back in. Okay. Well, it was cool to find a place that I just didn't explore at all. I'm surprised. Ah, I'm in the escape pods, and it looks like I have the skill to repair this thing now. a mimic inside. Ah. I'm in the area where I found Michaela. She was right there. Ah. Whoops. <laughs> she was right there. And I found this computer that I hadn't hacked. You want in. From Matthew Connolly to this person, Lan. Hey Lan, Grasikov just rage quit the Battle Ops League so we have an open spot. You still want in. Just show up at the usual time in the reactor room. I'll have enough parts you can kit bash. And remember, not a word of this in front of Brooks or Lucian. They don't know and we want to keep it that way. Faulty grounding resistor. From Talia to Lan. 
Wait. I think they made a mistake. It says from Talia to Lan, but then the email starts with Talia. And then it says it's by Lan. Wait, no, that's... I'm confused. Anyway, as stated in the official report, I replaced the grounding resistors in an attempt to restore power to Aleutian's office. This resulted in a powerful electrical explosion and subsequent structural damage that exposed the office to vacuum. Thankfully, the bulkheads sealed the breach. The faulty resistors immediately melted in a sort of shapeless, smoldering, and seemingly organic matter. Assume all parts in storage are suspect. <laughs> Oh my god, so... So they used grinding resistors that were actually mimics. And then they melted into organic goo. Gross. Understood, I'll have some of the engineers inspect the stuff in storage. Well, I can't find the final smuggling point. I've gone to every major place that I can think of. I've looked over the Arboretum, the bridge, the crew quarters, deep storage, hardware labs, the lobby, the Neuromod division, shuttle bay, psychotronics, life support, cargo bay, and power plant. I've looked at all of them. And I guess kind of the guts. But yeah, there's nothing there. So... It's either somewhere that I've already been that I've just missed, or it's in some area that I have yet to be able to progress to. I'm also thinking it could be in Alex's office, and we need to go there for the main quest. So let's pop in there just to progress the main quest a little bit and to check whether it's in there. I'm not going to go for too much longer in this episode, even though it might be short for you, because I've actually been recording for two and a half hours trying to find the smuggling points. It's taken a long time. But yeah, let's go peek inside. Morgan, I won't be joining you. Don't worry, there's no trick. Just a gift from your big brother. It's the truth, like I promised. Took me a while to dig it up. Someone wanted to hide it from you. My computer. Another video. Give it a look and we'll talk. I'm sending you the password. Assuming you haven't hacked your way in yet. <laughs> I have. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be here. Damn. My name is Morgan Yu. Year is 2035. I'm aboard the Talos One research facility. What else? Why are we making this video? Right. Because my big brother is paranoid. The psychometric data is showing statistically significant variance in personality patterns between trial runs of the new neuromods. Whatever. <laughs> I feel more like myself than ever. I mean, look at this. We did it, Alex. It's real. Enjoy it while you can, because in a few minutes, it'll all be gone when we strip out the neuromods and reset. I know, I'm including my memory of it. No way around it. Let's talk about the backup. So, the Typhon organisms have been producing an elaborate structure. Material is unknown, purpose unknown. My gut tells me it's kind of a neural framework, but externalized. Still waiting on analysis to confirm. In the meantime, I've given Alex the design for a device I think could shut it down, if it ever broke containment. Mr. Alex just has to grow a pair and commit. You don't have to take all the credit. What if it doesn't work? It'll work. Trust me. What else are we going to do? Blow everything up? <laughs> that won't save us. And if it does work, is it worth it? The people that come after us will be smarter, stronger, immortal. They can judge us if they want. But they'll know they exist because of the things we did. I'm ready. Do it. Well, there you have it. Everything I've done 
promise what you've asked me to do. I didn't think you'd believe me unless you heard it from your own mouth. The tests, they changed you. Not a lot at first, but eventually, the constant stripping of your memory. I didn't know who you were anymore. All I want is to have my sister back so we can finish what we started. The device you mentioned is an advanced version of the Null Wave. It's the only way to stop the Typhon without destroying everything we've been working toward. We're just missing some scan data from the Coral to complete the design. Help me finish this, Morgan. And then, you can have my arming key. I don't believe you want to use it anymore, but you can have it. I left the chip set for you on my desk. You'll need to upgrade your psychoscope to scan the Coral. I'll send you the scan locations. It's all way, way too perfect. Everything, just the explanation, sure it's you. But then there's all these other things saying no, it's not you. There's all the things, all these things saying that I'm actually just inside of, uh, I don't know, either a simulation or maybe this is real, but I'm just a typhon and I just don't believe anybody or anything really. It's too perfect. He'll just give me the key after I scan it, but he doesn't think I'll want to use it anymore. Why would he give it to me? Like some sort of trust building exercise? Only he's already said that. I don't recognize you anymore. I want my sister back. Well, does he really think he's going to get her back? Morgan, that video was... I'm still checking it against my directives. But if scanning the coral will grant you access to Alex's arming key, then perhaps it's the best course. Perhaps knowing the coral's purpose will reinforce your decision to destroy Talos 1. Just be careful. We're running out of time. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I guess I'm going to continue on with the main quest. Because I'm not sure where else to look for the smuggling thing, so I'm going to hope I just come across it while I'm doing other stuff. I still have no idea where to find Josh Dalton. I think I just have to wait for the imposter cook, but I'm not sure. I could do the treasure map. Well, I'm either going to do the main quest or the treasure map, or both. We'll see. <laughs>